everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's tweak these adorable signs from Dollar General. All right, so I got three of these signs from Dollar General. You could do just one of them. They were a buck each. And the hardest part of this project is getting that stupid sticker off of the hanger. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so I get the sticker off, and again, I'm using three of these, um, but you don't have to. And here's the fun thing, friends. Sometimes you don't have to redo an entire project. You could just, I don't know, uh, tweak it a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. So I get out my homespun fabric, and I'm just cutting the pieces so that they are big enough to cover the back. And I'm going to cut, obviously, three strips of my homespun fabric. You could use any fabric. You could even use pieces of towel or napkin, whatever. See, it's perfect. Awesome. And then I just glue it to the back. Easy peasy. Gosh, it doesn't get any easier than, well, it might get easier for some people. I don't know. <laughs> it's easy for me. So all I'm doing is just gluing the back. And I do um, the side, then I do the tops, the bottom, and the other side. Just glue it on each there's four sides. Glue it on each side. Making it more complicated than I need to. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I just do this. And I try to make the fabric taut so that there's no wrinkles. So we just go all the way around. I'm using a hot glue gun. I suppose you could staple it if you wanted to, but that's a pain in the neck. Just hot glue it if you can. I guess you could glue it with Elmer's glue too. Never mind. All right, look at how cute this is, though. Now, I'm also going to glue on just a little button. Now, I know this seems crazy, but there is a method to my madness. First of all, it's adorable. Um, second of all, and there's one for the chicken. I did one for the chicken, and I glue a button on the back bottom of that. And then I have one for the bacon, and I do the same for that. Super fun. Um, I got these buttons. I think I got them at Joanne Fabrics. All right, and then we're going to do a messy bow. And I am just using scraps of fabric that I cut into tiny strips. Um, I have some homespun that I had cut the edges off. I had a little bit of that left. I have a little bit of lace that I had left. I even used some string. <laughs> I'm like, we're going to use it all. Um, this is some jute that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, once you get all of your, and it's just crisscross applesauce, right? alternating. And then all I do is tie it in the middle with a piece of jute and it's just a double knot. And then I cut the excess. That's all I do. Um, one other thing that I do also, because it's a messy bow and I want it to be kind of junky is I rub it in between my hands just so that it kind of really gets all mussed up. Um, you don't have to do that part if you don't want to, but look at, and again, if you're going to use wired um, ribbon, I wouldn't do that because it would probably hurt. Um, and then I just glue it onto one of them. Look, are you kidding me? Look how cute that is. Oh, I love it so much. Now that's perfect. Just like that. You could just stop right there. But if you want to go the next step more, which of course you do, um, look at, you can use the buttons as hangers and you can hang them all together. <laughs> look how fun this is. Ah, this is what it looks like singly, but then you could just, you know, lean them up against something. I don't know, friends. Oh, this guy's the limit. Anyways, thanks for watching, friends. Uh -huh.